coolly played out by Stubbs to O'Donnell. It's a good one by Simon Donnelly. In for Henrik Larsson, and McGoffrey! His first goal for Celtic! 12 minutes gone, and Joshua Fenglas, his fellow Slovakian, leads the applause. A superb finish. And Celtic's decision to push Milovic up front pays dividends. Donnelly to Boyd. Simon Donnelly goes again, looking for the ball back. In for resets. Cleared by Perini. It's well won by Alan Stubbs. Top Boyd is onside. Number two for Milovic. of the second half gone. This so far match is turning into an unbelievable dream for Luba Moravchik. Picked out by Boyd, and how good was that header? Pass for Donnelly, for Henrik Larsson. It's number three this time. And Celtic Park is bouncing. Seven minutes into the second half, and a three-goal lead for Celtic. Rangers are stunned. Henrik Larsson scores his 12th goal of the season. The deftest of flicks, putting the ball beyond Antiniemi. The angle pass from Simon Donnelly. Larsson had the pace to get away from Henry, and he had the composure to finish in some style. Tom Boyd taking a healthy run up at that. Away from Newman. Tom Boyd has time. Underneath it, Andre Kinchelskis. Didn't get it clear though. In from Philadelphia and Henrik Larson. Two minutes of the second half. Philadelphia's cross. Henrik Larson not picked up. And the header was down and away from Niemi. And it's 4 1. Some room here for Henrik Larsson. Tom Boyd is getting up in support of him. Burchill is there as well. Here's Mark Burchill. That's number five. A fairy tale for Mark Burchill. His first taste of the old firm match. And his first goal. It's 5 1. Right on 90 minutes. Henry Larson carved up on the Rangers defence, released the pass at just the right time inside Borini. Here's Tommy Coyne. Sideways to Jakinowski. Here's Joe Miller. There's a great chance for Celtic. 1 0 to Celtic. Tommy Coyne and Joe Miller both claim the goal. Tommy Coyne set it up. Look at the pass here from Jakinowski, brilliantly wide there to Joe Miller. He has the shot, it gets away from Chris Woods, and it's Tommy Coyne who claims the goal. This is McGinley. Goalkeeper commits himself. He's dropped it. The chance on here for Collins, he must score. And John Collins puts Celtic right back into the game. This will be a testing moment for Ali Maxwell. The in swinger, he's under pressure, and Celtic have scored. Two minutes of injury time played. Rangers defence has been under siege for the last 20 minutes. Shots like that, peppering this Rangers goal mark. Albert's clearing that one. Jackie McNamara again, it's a congested penalty. And Stubbs is above the ball. Alan Stubbs. Only seconds remaining. Saves the day for Celtic. A magnificent fight back. And oh dear, are they enjoying it. God, I'm certainly been the hero again for Rangers. Mike Galloway is there, so is Collins. The wall having to retreat.
Collins takes it. He scores! Inside McCall, on for McStay. It's a second for Celtic, and a Muller superb goal. Well, it was beautifully built up on the right with Donnelly. Then Peter Grant setting this up for Paul McStay, supported so well from midfield, but swept away in and off the post. Yeah, Paul McStay knows exactly what he's going to do here. Keeps his eye on the ball. That's a tremendous strike. John Collins into a packed penalty box and Derek White fires Celtic ahead and Ibrox, the unlikeliest of heroes, he doesn't score that many. Albert's up to Wallace, no foul that time and Celtic riding the challenges. Berkovic almost nobbled by Reina. Berkovic now slipping it through to Faduka! Paducah takes it early, and Sir Bonnier can only stand and watch. That is a wonderful finish from Mark Paducah. Without doubt, the top striker in the country at the moment. For McNamara. Rangers, you feel, are here for the taking. It's Craig Bellamy! Who's played with great authority? And the feet horse turned his back on it, whether he thought he was offside and had to get out of the way. Oh, great stop from Gorham by the effort from Jackson. Now Larson. The second one will surely settle it for Celtic. That's Lambert! Celtic determined to equalise before half-time. Here's John Collins. There goes Elliot! Yes! Paul Elliot does it again for Celtic! And these Celtic fans celebrate, they love Paul Elliot dearly, and that's one of the reasons why. His fourth goal of the season, all of them from headers, and it's his second against Rangers. Collins with the cross. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. A marvel on the volley. Wonderful equaliser, thoroughly deserved by Celtic. Oh, it's been on the cards, Martin, but a magnificent ball from John Collins. I said he's been having more and more of an influence in this game, but look at the way he picks out Bum. Right, with a touch. Doesn't come off at all. And Van Bronckhorst. Well, he then gives it away to McNamara. Now Berkovic. For Duca near post. It's gone in towards the giant Aussie. Berkovic! And Celtic a level! And it's the Israeli international, Ayal Berkovic, who's sneaked it in. What a response. Well, what a piece of composure. In a match like this, to show that kind of composure, wonderful play by Berkovic who has due Celtic a big performance, and he's come up trumps here. Look at the body strength here from Viduka. No way Moore's getting to this first-time layoff, and it's through Klaus's legs. A bit of good fortune there for Berkovic. Oh, Amoruso's mistake has let in Viduka, surely for Celtic. Viduka, Berkovic, he's done it again. Berkovic with his second. Celtic, who haven't won at Ibrox against Rangers for five years, are 2-1 up. Well, Lorenzo Amoruso has 
to hold his hand up here. He's been rushed once or twice in this game, and he's been caught on the third occasion. Berkovic owes Mark Viduka again, who does ever so well to hold Craig Moore off again, set up the chance. Coin going to touch this, Craney! Celtic are ahead! It's Jerry Craney! It's a dub check with the free kick. That's well struck and deflected! 2-0 to Celtic! Darius Dubček takes the credit! Here's Jonas turn. Alberts, good challenge by Boyd. This is Larson. Now Simon Donnelly. Three players to his left. Burley! Yeah, the ball's picked up, and that was a good goal by Craig Burley. Excellent play by Donnelly. McLaughlin. Linking with Donnelly. Good running by McLaughlin. But Hoydock. The great shot by Van Hoydock, and Celtic take the lead. Well, that was a classic, created by Brian McLaughlin. It's brilliant play by the little midfield man. Look at that goal, straight past Billy Thompson's right hand. Good play by McLaughlin there, just sets himself up nicely. This is McStay, looking for Donnelly again, he's away from the plan. Chance on again for Celtic, Donnelly going all the way himself, and it's tapped in by Moore. Another goal by Drake Moore. Celtic go two ahead. Graham with that water, he's scored for Celtic. Rudy Vata makes it 3-0 to Celtic. And Billy Thompson was beaten by the surprise element here. I saw that fall there by Lambert. When I just take it away by Amoruso. There's a shot and goal, it's in. Alan Stubbs picks the ball up on the edge of the box and flunks it away. And Celtic's first real charge and goal. Celtic go one up. No covering for Stubbs. 38 minutes gone. And from the edge of the box, cleanly and incisively sweeping that away is Mahe. With the shot up the board, and Larson tries to get there. It's got in. Larson gets the equaliser for Celtic after that tremendous shot by Maracic. Larson with a presence of mind to follow up and just nudge it over the line. The Rangers goalkeeper, despairing effort to keep that out. It's Maracic's shot which swerved and dipped. Tom Boyd, who emerges with the ball. Puts it through, looking for Donnelly. This is Tom. Andreas Tom's going to try one here. Oh, that is an incredible goal by Andreas Tom. What a mighty strike, an awesome strike. Nine minutes gone here at Ibrook Stadium. There's jubilation among the Celtic fans. A stunning goal by Andreas Tom, which gave Andy Gorham no chance at all. The gap opened up. It was obvious he was going to hit it. But my goodness. What a goal, he's seventh of the season. It's Andreas Tom who strikes it, Hughes as well forwards. Claims for a penalty kick there as he was challenged and it's given. John Collins starts his run. And it's gone in. And again the Celtic fans celebrate. 51 minutes gone here. John Collins puts Celtic ahead. Rangers 1, Celtic 2. So Celtic with it all to do now. Tosh McKinley gives the cross, it's Van Hoydon. And that's in. Well, this is quite incredible. Three goals apiece here at Ibrox. Van Hoydon picking his spot in the far corner. Well, there have been some dramatic games in recent years. Tosh McKinley at the other end, involved in an own goal, provides an excellent cross. Stands in a post mortem.
but Celtic have taken the lead from the corner. Mackay headed it in. Well, it's a bread and butter corner that comes in. Mackay takes a great position on Gorham from the corner. Celtic still uh, keeping possession. Now it's McKinley. But that might not make up the ground here against Bjorklund. Penalty! It's 2 0 from Paolo Di Canio. Well, that's what you call Brave Martin. And again, Paul Elliott has moved into the Rangers penalty area. Again, Gary Stevens watching him carefully as Miller takes the kick with his right foot. Goffs above them all, the ball spinning high and awkwardly in the air. It's lost by Chris Woods. Stevens coming in, dispossessed by Paul McStay. Anton Rogan, a long ball forward, looking for Tommy Coyne, it's one against one. Coyne getting away from Davy Dodds, Tommy Coyne, he must start. Oh, he's forced wide, still Coyne, Joe Miller! Joe Miller makes it 2 0 for Celtic. So 53 minutes gone. in a one-against-one situation for Divi Dodds. He got past him, he got away from the goalkeeper. It looked as though the chance was lost. Coyne, remaining calm, puts the ball into the path of little Joe Miller, and it's 2-0 to Celtic. Stay the header, Tommy Coyne! <laughs> 85 minutes. Tommy Coyne does it again, Joe Miller on the right. The ball played right across goal, a brilliant downward header. Tommy Coyne's 14th goal in 22 games. Is coming from the Rangers bench, David Dodds and Archie Knox. He's trying to get his players perhaps to uh, not sit back. Just the risk if Celtic get one, then the nerves really would be rattled and there might be another one. And Van Hoydok has got one! So Celtic not out of it yet. Well, there's moments like that that change semi finals. Probably the best ball that anyone's played in from Celtic this today. And when it's in there, you want someone on the end of it. Van Hoydok puts himself across Alan McLaren, and that's a super header past Andy Gorham. Just glides it in, no power, just glides it into the corner. This is boy for Celtic to Collins. Celtic hoping maybe they can get themselves a free kick just outside the box and let uh, Collins in that, but here's boy coming forward. Magic 
equaliser for Celtic. Just like Rangers goal, it's come from a free kick. Just like Rangers goal, it's come from a defender. John Hughes, the hero. Beautiful header, direct into the corner. Well, after Rangers' positive start, Celtic have been coming more and more into this match. And I think the sense of vulnerability in this range of defence. Mistakes are being made. And one of them leading to this free kick. And the referee wants the range of defensive wall to retreat just a bit more. Well, Celtic could really silence this huge crowd here. It's Collins. It's a magnificent goal by John Collins. But what a mighty strike by Collins right into the top.